In this video, we're going to be looking at how to set up team members and assign roles and permissions. So here under your settings, um, we have company. So before we get to that, of course, this is your main company information. Definitely want to have this filled out. So this information that you see here is what's going to be displayed to a new lead or client coming into the system that has not yet been assigned to anybody. Because once they're assigned to somebody, all email communications will have that user's contact information in the signature. But when they're brand new and no one's picked them up yet, it's going to display your, your default company information. Now, this will also actually appear on the um, analysis report that you send to your clients and also the progress report. So you just want to make sure that all this information is up to date. Now, when you first set up your account and you add your domain name right here, just make sure you use www, right? Um, when you set it up there, you can click in the blank space down here and it's going to generate a subdomain for you. Now, this is actually going to be used for your client portal and you'll see it up here at the top. Um, but once you initially generated, generate the link, you're going to have to log out, log back in, and then you'll see it up here and you'll be able to copy it and add it to your website as a client login button, okay? So that's the company information. Now, when it comes to team members, so when you set up a new team member, um, assuming you have user slots available, if you don't, uh, there'll be a message asking you to contact one of our team to get you set up with an additional user, um, and we can help you with that at that time. But let's just say we're adding a new team member, and I'm just gonna use John Smith's uh, profile here as an example. Um, now, this is going to apply for if it's a team member within your company, but it could also be an outsourcer or somebody just outside of your company that you need to give them access. Uh, we'll talk about the different levels of access shortly, but I'm just going to walk you through how to set up their user profile. Okay, So just remember that once you assign this person to any lead or client, they will see this contact information. So let's, uh, you know, first name, last name, of course, uh, the email address. Now, <clears throat> If they're in your company, um, always use a, um, an email address that you control that has your domain name in it. And even if you're going to set up an outsourcer or somebody outside the company, the best way to do it is to actually create an email address using your domain name for that person. So that way, if they ever leave or something happens in the relationship, you can just redirect all of the client communications back to yourself. Um, so that's important. So you're going to define the email and, of course, the password. And this additional email right here is if um, their IP address changes, a security code will get flagged um, just in case it was an incorrect or somebody stole the login. And it's going to send an email and a text with a code in it. Now, it's going to already send it to the email address on file and the mobile number that's here. But you can also put an additional email. Now, what I would do the company owner should have their email address listed here for additional email for every user you set up. So that way you're getting notified if any of your team are, you know, causing that, that error uh, message to come up because their IP address did change. Okay. So that's the basic information. Um, the mobile number, you want to make sure it's an actual mobile cell phone that can receive SMS messages as well. Now, these two settings here are, are important. So the assigned only option. If you only want this person to see the leads and clients that they're assigned to as either the sales rep or the agent, then have that box checked. So when they log into the system, they're only going to see their own clients. They're not going to see everybody. But if you had an admin or a supervisor or a manager, they need to be able to see everybody's stuff. So you want to make sure that's unchecked uh, for that type of person. The allowed round robin, um, that's if you're integrating a web form where you can choose for this person to be automatically assigned at random for all those leads that come in. Um, and we'll have a little separate video on the web form side of things uh, to understand that. Now the role, this is where you're gonna assign um, something to this person and that's gonna be restricting the access and what they can see. So the difference between a role and the assigned only is a role hides portions of the software from that person the assigned only hides clients and leads that are not theirs, okay? And we'll take a look at how to set up roles here in a second. Uh, their status, of course, is active right now. And the last part here is sales rep commission tracking. If it's something that you want to use, it's a percentage only, and you could put in, say, you know, 5% or something. 
And what that means is that any any clients that are on that are listed under them, in other words, they're assigned as the agent or the sales rep. If that client has a transaction and you have this enabled, you'll be able to run a report at the end of the month um, for how much is due for this person. Now the commission, it's a percentage only and it does track it on every single transaction. Now we're gonna take a look at roles and permissions. So over here, we have a tab for roles and permissions. Now, by default, there's already an outsourcer role that comes with your system. Um, that's typically used for, again, outsourcers. It just kind of hides all the typical things uh, that you would not want them to see. However, if you wanted to create your own custom roles, you can create as many as you like, and you can assign them to different team members. So let's add a new one here. You just give it a name and a short description for yourself. And these are the top level uh, tabs or features within the system that are currently being shown to this person. So whatever you do not want them to see, you just uncheck it. You know, you don't want them seeing the dashboard that has all of your financial information and stats on it. Uh, maybe you don't want them having access to billing um, or to create letter templates um, or manage the affiliates, right, and so forth. Now, you can drill down even deeper here. So we have these little plus signs. So for example, on clients and leads, there's a lot more subsections that you can hide um, and control, right? So on client's account, you have controls for ability to add things to it, to edit things or delete. Um, so you can just check through all of these different dropdowns, see what applies to you. And once you're done creating this role, uh, just hit add permissions. And then you can come back here to the team member and you can just choose that role for this person and just save it when you're done. And a final note, once you have their user profile set up, you're just gonna hand them their login and their password. There's no automatic email that gets sent out that provides that to them. And you wanna make sure that they're the first person to log in using these credentials. The reason for that is our system is the only one that has end-to-end -end security. So what it does is it'll capture their IP address when they log in. So you'd wanna make sure that you do not log in as them.